Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as our Jedi Knight Valerius Rowe. Where we last left off, we had just finished the Chapter 2 storyline, where we attempted to capture the Sith Emperor and bring him to Typhon here in the background with a fellow, well, with a group of Je fellow Jedi. Unfortunately, that plan failed. And while we ourselves managed to throw off the Emperor's influence and escape his fortress with the help of his Wrath, a Sith known as Lord Scourge, we've lost contact. We are missing the three fellow Jedi who, Jedi who were in our party. We've been asked to go to the Republic prison world of Belsavis, but before we do that, we're going to spend a little bit of time speaking to our companions once again. So, as always, we will speak to them to... Well, speak to them in the order in which they joined us. You wanted to see me? Tell me what you found out. Anyone who would abandon their comrades in arms is a coward. Hey, I take offense at that. Regrets won't bring Master Zalo back. He's gone. You just have to accept it. The Empire doesn't stand a chance against the likes of us. So, T7 was able to identify the bounty hunter who killed... Is it Shafu? But unfortunately, he doesn't know yet who paid the bounty hunter to do that deed. Okay, let's go speak to Kira. See what she thinks about the events that transpired on the Emperor's Fortress. If she wants to talk about it. When I hear something crazy, I've done more fighting as a Jedi than during my entire Sith training. I wish it didn't have to be this way. On the bright side, still alive. Not easy playing backup to the greatest Jedi warrior in the galaxy. Won't even pretend we'll ever be equals, but I've got some new moves to try out next time we're in a fight. Don't surprise me with anything. What kind of stunts are you planning? Just taking a few pages from your flashy playbook. Promise not to upstage you. <laughs> oh, I was hoping she'd tell us. Uh, I guess she doesn't want to talk about the time on the fortress. Fair enough. Let's go speak to Doc. Gotta say, this is one comfy starship. Never saw anything this cushy on the outer rim. Those fringers use rocks for pillows. And medical care? <laughs> Forget it. Colto might as well be a myth. Tough work being a doctor outside the core. I take it you didn't start your career on Balmora? Born on Raltier. Graduated Coruscant University. Highest honors. I could have gone home, had a safe medical practice, and died of boredom. But I'm a man of action. You have any idea how many people have tried to kill me for bringing quality health care to their planets? In my experience, helping others is hazardous to your health. Luckily for my patients, I enjoy a challenge. The frontier worlds are crawling with pirates, gangsters, and tax collectors. But they're no match for old Doc. Not everyone needs a laser sword and mind tricks to get out of a tight spot. I don't need them either. They're just efficient. Me? I rely on superior intellect and natural charm. It works every time. If I were you... I wouldn't leave the ship without me. 
But we will. For once, we went through an entire conversation without you flirting with me. Hmm. I think he's finally taken the hint. Oh, we have Sergeant Rusk Welcome here. Home, Master. I hope you find your vessel a model of efficiency, convenience, and comfort. You know, I was hoping to go through an entire video without you opening your mouth. Or voice modulator, whatever you have. Master Jedi, the defeat of the Sith Empire is easily the most ambitious mission I've ever been given. In fact, the odds of surviving a battle against the Emperor himself are almost zero. I'm looking forward to this more than any other assignment I have ever had. That's unexpected. Why, exactly? I've been waiting my whole life for a chance to deliver a decisive victory to the Republic. If I may say so, the Jedi Order's discipline, self-sacrifice, and devotion to duty are a model for all citizens. It will be an honor to serve with you. Yeah, he's very by the book. But I like him. He's got a very blunt nature I can respect. If we screw up here, he won't mind telling us. And we have Lord Scourge here. I thank you for your trust, Jedi. I might not have given mine so freely were our positions reversed. Tell me more about this vision. What makes someone like you bow to me? As I told your council, the Emperor's plan is not to rule the galaxy, but to consume it. I've devoted centuries to stopping him. For a time, I worked with the greatest of your Jedi heroes, Revan and the Jedi Exile. But they did not have the strength to complete their task. Really? Did you? I don't remember that in Knights of the Old Republic 1 or 2, but maybe I've forgotten. Very possible. That's quite a claim. You will find no proof. I hid my association with them well. Nonetheless, I was their ally in the shadows, helping them oppose my Lord Emperor. Until my vision. Jedi, shining with the Force, lined up to destroy him. All were swept aside. Revan and the Exile were cast at my feet. Then, out of the shadows, one Jedi emerged to cut the Emperor down. That Jedi wore your face. I hadn't even been born yet. I waited 300 years for your birth. When I saw your face on Quesh, in the vision, I bowed to you and took a crown from the Emperor's head. It ended when you held his power in your hands. Do I want the Emperor's power in my hands? I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Okay, is there anything else we can do? Is there anything I anything else I should do? Well, we have some miscellaneous goods to sell to the vendor. We may as well do that. You know, I think this is fine. We'll leave this video a nice and short one. And when we come back, we will travel to the world of Belsavis. It is, as I mentioned before, a Republic prison that is being kept secret. And unfortunately, if the Sith Emperor has corrupted other Jedi's minds, he may have discovered its location from them. But, as always, this has been Anne Wolf playing Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you all take care, and I'll see you for even more next time. I'll probably end this session here, a relatively short one, but I'm going to try and get a little bit more sleep before tomorrow, and then we'll start Chapter 3 afresh. I'll see you all then, though. Bye-bye now.